It makes me feel responsible, but irresponsible. Disgusting, sad. What they're using for seconds lasts for centuries. Shouldn't be there. That's a big price to pay for a very small convenience. Are you sure that you would want to pay that price? Are you sure that you want your children to pay that price? Man is primarily responsible for that. Everything we buy is covered in plastic. We're Plasticide, and we're a group of students hoping to raise awareness of the issues surrounding single-use plastics. These microparticles and small plastics are going into the food chain at the very bottom, so in the algae, in the corals, and then it's building up in the food chain, causing their deaths in other ways by toxins. Been blown from landfills into the sea. So landfill sites, you think, oh, that's not going to affect the oceans, but it is being blown straight from there into the seas. It's changing their behaviour, and that's what's so scary. It's changing things like it's feminising some fish, so that the males no longer reproduce as effectively as they used to. It can change social structure of groups. It's changing the whole dynamics of our ecosystems. Well, sometimes if plastic like breaks down because it's not biodegradable and it breaks down into really small pieces, and then those pieces are toxic, and then fish eat it, and they can die. Ingest the plastic, or strangled by the plastic, that immediately causes their death. Fish in the water can eat the trash and that can cause them to get sick and die. I recycle as much as I can, but um, I'm not sure where all my recycling actually goes. Maybe I should. I think the plastic we use should have like an end of life design. We are now living without single use carrier bags. If we can live without single use carrier bags, then there's no reason why we can't live without single use things. In our research, we discovered that recycling alone simply isn't enough. So we decided ourselves to try a treat free from single use plastics and contacted other people who were also doing their bit. When I first started to boycott plastic, there weren't really many alternatives available. Things like the coffee cups, the water bottles. Once you've done it, once you've sourced the alternatives, yes, I think it is. I think it's, it's very easy. So I have my coffee cups, I have my water bottles, I know I don't want to shore. It's such a simple thing to do, but can make a big change. And we should support businesses to make these changes as well by changing our behaviour first. We go to supermarkets, and only buy loose food. So bars, because those um, squeeze um, liquid soaps, they come in um, bottles that stay for like a hundred years. Consumers want to buy ethical products. Consumers want to buy from companies that are responsible to human beings and to the planet. And I think companies that are seen to be environmentally responsible um, have a competitive edge over those that don't. And consumers are increasingly choosing to buy products and services that are environmentally friendly. There are some other things than plastic that we can use. I mean, they're not as good, but they're better than plastic. Like maybe cardboard and paper. It's better to reduce your waste. It's better to reuse your packaging. It's better to not use packaging at all. It would be inconvenient to go for a week without um, without single-use plastics. Lots of people say to me, oh, it's easy for you, you know, we can't do it because it costs a lot of money to go plastic-free, but I really do think it's cheaper. I conducted my own plastic-free week, and I found when you walk into the supermarket, everyone wants you to put your loose fruit veg into plastic bags. Don't. No one back to the island and check out. So for my plastic free week, I took a tupperware box to the supermarket to meet a dough counter and ask them to put it in without the plastic packaging. 
absolutely no issue with it whatsoever. You can also take your own bags to the supermarket. This way you're saving money and also helping the environment. I also found out that tea bags actually have plastic in them, so I started using some loose sleeve tea, which long term is actually cheaper. Most coffee shops now charge extra if you don't take it in your own reusable cup. So why wouldn't you want to save money? During my plastic free week, I tried to find uh, cosmetic products that didn't contain any plastic or weren't contained in plastic packaging, uh, which I found pretty straightforward. And there's less obvious types of plastic, microplastics or even the nanoplastics, so smaller than a fingernail. And that goes straight down our drains, so things in our face wash, our toothpaste. I find it quite exciting that shops and stores are investing time and money into developing products that don't contain plastic and don't need to be contained in plastic. After my plastic free week, I realised that it really changed my mindset on what I was doing and on what I was eating and what I was buying. And in terms of plastic, I think after my plastic free week, it made me very, very aware of how much is used and how much is thrown away. Months after, I still um, am very conscious of how much plastic I use. So I use reusable water bottles and reusable um, and a reusable coffee pot and things like that. And I really um, try have tried to cut down on my use of plastic after my plastic free week. Being shipped, I was already being more expensive. It actually worked out cheaper. We've created a website, Facebook page and Instagram page where you can read about our own experiences and tips to help you enjoy a plastic free life. So why not set yourself the challenge and head over to our website to pledge for your own plastic free week. Even your small contribution can have such a big impact. Share the knowledge so that we can all progress faster. We all make a change, supermarkets will soon realise that we want plastic free options and soon you'll be able to do a plastic free full shot in your local supermarket. We started with the simple goal of raising awareness of the problems surrounding single-use plastics when we realised that a plastic free week would be the best possible solution. This will be held in the final week of June starting on the 25th. Once you pledge online you'll be emailed a plastic free guide full of tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your plastic free week. In the guide we've included everything you could want to know from tips for your home and bathroom to social events for you to get involved with. Have a flick through to get the most out of your plastic free week. Let us know about your plastic free journey on social media. We're really excited to have you on board and can't wait to have you join our plastic free team. Go Plasticide! I'm a plastic addict. I'm a plastic addict. I'm a plastic addict. I pledge to a plastic free week.